All right, moving on to our next statement. This is the hottest topic right now and probably will be until the trade deadline. Shohei Otani will be traded. Hmm. I mean, I my answer. Like what should be done and what will yeah, happen? Yeah, there are two different questions. Two different but questions. But the, the statement, Otani will be traded, I'm going to say no. I'm going to disagree. I don't think it's going to happen. I really don't. I Last week, two weeks ago, was very vocal about you need to get something. And for Artie Moreno or for – Ken Rosenthal speaking about Artie Moreno saying he doesn't want to be known as the owner that tr that trades away Shohei Otani. I would rather be known as the owner that got something for Shohei Otani than the owner that let him walk for nothing. So look, you might say like I, you might wake up and really punch yourself for not for if you trade Shohei. Yeah, I I would be more beat up over the fact that we could have this it's not even a gener generational talent it's a once in a once in a lifetime even more like the game. Never, once in a, the We're, game yeah. kind of player and there's a realistic possibility that he walks away and the angels have done nothing and gained nothing besides money for the owner and a compensation pick like sick you know yeah, this is tough because I, I was also very vocal about this on this show and on The Herd a couple weeks ago that I think it would be a silly business move like you not to move Trey Chohei Otani and get something in return. But then I've been thinking about the other side, a lot of it, and, and why wouldn't they if they didn't? And he is the best player in the game, hands down. Best player of our generation, as you said, best maybe we've ever seen. There's nothing like him. Wouldn't you want to do everything in your power to try to keep that player on your team when you have it? He is not only the face of the franchise, he is the brand of the Angels. He is all of the advertising for the Angels. He is all the giveaways for the Angels. He is your main moneymaker. So this is, I'm just putting my Angels hat on as to why they wouldn't do that. Because again, I'm not saying I agree with it, but why they wouldn't. And it has to be because you have to try to do every possible thing in your power to try to keep the best player in the game on your team and on your franchise. I don't know if it's going to happen. I'm not very optimistic that it's going to happen. But if maybe they can like stay kind of not super far out of the wild card race and Mike Trout comes back at the end of the season, maybe they make a push for the postseason and maybe they can keep Shohei Otani. I, I, I don't think it's likely, but... They're milking That's the other him. hard side. They're milking him for everything they can until yeah. he's gone. That's why they're not going to trade him. They're going to we're going to see a million Shohei giveaways in the second half of the season. We're going to see him, you know, they're they're just milking him for everything they can, every mm -hmm. dollar they can get, every fan they can get in the stand because of him. And they're going to ride that out until the very end. And then they're they're not going to to pay him the money that he's going to get. And that's that's how this is all going to end. And Angels fans should be pissed off about it. Isn't that a bad investment, though, when you're thinking about it? Like, let me just get the fast cash real quick right now instead of thinking of the long-term investment of, okay, I can get some young guys, we can build our franchise, and then in five years, maybe we can get back to where we want to be. Because they've had the two best players in the game, and obviously we've seen – they can't figure out how to win with both of them. Well, I guess then then the question becomes like, where do you want to be? Do you want to be a winner or do you want to make money? And that's not a question for me. That's a question for Artie Moreno. But he's doing just fine. He's making he's making money. He's getting fans in the seats. Yeah, I mean that's also the question for the players. And I've always said like that is the player's choice. A lot of players like to just take the money, get as much money as you can, because as an athlete, you have a very small window of making money. Or do you want to take less money and try to build around and build a team and win championships? Kind of like we saw with like a Tom Brady. Yeah, that gets tricky. That's I don't tricky. I don't think players should be players shouldn't have to take less money. Ownerships that are billionaires should yeah. be asked to if you if you want to win, and I'm not saying give I'm I'm not saying every team needs to do what Steve Cohen has done. Well, they can't. Well, true. But a player shouldn't say like, well, I want to be on a winning team, so I should take less money. A player is worth what a player is worth, right? And it, there's going to be a bidding war for players, and the Angels aren't going to be close to to the bidding war for Shohei Otani because Artie Moreno, I, I don't think, will we'll fork over the, the money for him. I think he's milking him for all he's worth right now, 
and getting all the money he can, and he doesn't want to give up on that at, on July 31st. He wants to ride that out through October 5th or whatever it is and have a million giveaways with Shohei and sell out or get more fans in the crowd because of all those giveaways. And then when he goes, he goes, and they won't have that massive contract on the books that he has to pay. I, I, it's, it's, it's frustrating, but uh, Angels fans should be pissed. It, it, it's frustrating.